Happy Senior Day, everybody. It's be five and three. Illinois fighting Illini. Will host be three and four. Minnesota Golden Gophers. Now I believe this is the last home game of the season. I'm not entirely sure, but it might be. We have many seniors playing in today's game. There, look at the stat or not the stats, the standing. So uh, some notable seniors: quarterback Wes Lunt, wide receiver Justin Hardy, wide receiver Jamal Johnson, the second tight end Michael Rylandheimer, defensive end Dewan Smoot, defensive end Julian Robinson. Linebacker Hardy Nickerson, run, linebacker Carol Phillips, and many, many more. Hoping to not only just get a win here in their last home game, but clinch a bowl spot here for the fight in the line at. Now, their opponent be 3 and 4 Minnesota Golden Gophers. Now, they may be 3 and 4, but looking at their stats, they look like they're 1 and 6. Not like their individual player stats, but their team stats. Their offense is not in the top 100 in points. Uh, yards, passing, and rushing, and their defense is not that good either, as Illinois also has the best run defense in the league, which is kind of crazy, as, uh, here we go, folks, the last home game for many fighting the line, I am the only junior I can think of off the top of my head is Malik Turner, and I've noticed that a lot of juniors stay in college until they're seniors, I'm not entirely sure if that's true, but that's what I've noticed a lot. So I'm um, assuming we're going to have Turner for another year, and if we don't, that'll be really bad because we're already losing Jamal Johnson and Justin Hardy, and those are two receivers we're losing. So here comes up the Minnesota offense, and the Illinois, I said offense so weirdly, and the Illinois defense with many, many seniors, luckily Darshim the Dream's only a sophomore, as White on first down will be sacked by Dewan Smoot, who is a senior, and after a slow start of the season, Dewan Smoot has been very, very good as of late. It is 3rd and 13 for Minnesota. As Dewan Smith on 2nd down actually almost got a sack again. It's on 3rd down, White under more pressure over Logan. Logan will get a 1st down. What a nice play from Brock Logan on the screen, breaking multiple tackles from the Illinois defense. It is 2nd and 2 for the Golden Gophers at about the 45-ish yard line. The Illinois 45 to be exact is White's going to take it himself. That's a first down for White. He has holes and he's going to gain 15 over run. It is third and 16 for Minnesota. On about the 37 yard line is White. Under no pressure. And right when I say that, he's going to be sacked. And it's fourth and 23. That was Marvin Armstrong with the sack. Smoot was there as well. It is second and 15 after the quarterback, Wes Lunt, lost about five. On the run play, as Lunt will look to pass it, he's going to look for an open man, and it's Justin Hardy, senior to senior, and it's a game of 20. It is second and 10 for Illinois at about the 46-yard line, as Lunt will hand it off to Kendrick Foster. Foster has a first down, and more. There goes Foster past the 30 to about the 20 Nine-ish yard line after gaining 26 yards. It is fourth and 15. Illinois going for a very long field goal. Their untrusty kicker, Key Manton. But it's a fake as Chase Crouch is going to scramble. And he's going to run with it. And he could, if he, if, it, if number 21 did not make the tackle, that would have been a first down for Crouch. But an excellent tackle by Minnesota will stop Illinois. As we just start the second quarter, your score, Minnesota Goose Egg, Illinois. Goose egg as it's third and six for the Golden Gophers. White under pressure will find Price, and Price gets by the 50 to about the 48. A gain of 23 for Ken Price. It is first and 10 on about the 31 for Minnesota as White will look to pass it. He's going to find Braxton, and Braxton is a first down pass for 20. Or not Braxton, sorry, Burton. I'm blind. Remember. This is a big play for both sides as it's third and goal in the seven. Don't know why Rodriguez isn't because he's a backup. As White will pass it on third down. He's going to run with it actually and he's going to be stopped by Marvin Armstrong and White will only gain one in Minnesota. Will most likely have to settle for a field Minnesota's goal. field goal makes it a 3 nothing lead as Malik Turner will return the kick. He gets by the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Illinois, and they will take the lead off a kick return touchdown by Malik Turner. After the quick score from Malik Turner, has done an excellent job on kick returns this season. Illinois is now up by four, and it's second down for Minnesota. Under pressure from Smoot, will look for Logan on the screen, and Brock Logan has a first down. will finally be brought down at the 46. 
by Darshin the Dream Ben Ben Brooks. Minnesota once again looking to drive down the field. As their offense has actually looked really solid so far today against Illinois. As White's going to hand it off to Logan on first down. Logan has a hole and it's going to gain another first down, gaining 12. It is second and 10 for Minnesota. As White will pass it under pressure. He's going to be sacked by Cook, who is a backup, but he's been the unsung hero of this defense, Charles Cook, with the play. Considering one of our safeties is graduating, I hope he's not a senior, because if he's not, he's going to start next year, but he might be a senior, I'm not sure. Despite barely being on the field, here comes the Illinois offense with only one minute left in the first half, and they don't seem like they're in any rush as one on second down, looking for Malik Turner. And Turner will gain 17 and a first. Now Illinois is going fast. 45 seconds left. The clock stops in college after first downs, I guess, until you're ready. As Lunt on first down, he's scrambling. And he's going to be intercepted by Marcus. And there goes Illinois' chance of scoring another touchdown in his first half. As Lunt's stats don't look great, but remember we've barely played offense in the first half. So now Minnesota gets the opportunity to drive down the field and score. And as you can see... Their starting quarterback is not in the game. Daniels is now the guy at the helm. Is Nickerson's going to stop Logan, who loses four. And Illinois is actually going to use a timeout. After Minnesota couldn't do anything, Illinois gets another chance to score with 16 seconds and one timeout. As Lunt, on first down, under pressure, he's going to look for the corner. For Malik Turner, what a grab by Turner. And he was inbound. 17, or not 17, only 7 seconds left for Illinois. Don't know if they're going to have time to run another play after this one. They do have an extra their timeout still, as this can be a screen to Foster. Foster, first down. There goes Kendrick Foster, and Kendrick Foster will take it to the house to end the first half. Touchdown, Illinois. Let's get you a studio update before the first half ends. Is Maryland and Ohio State. And Maryland is currently defeating Ohio State. And Ohio State's actually our next opponent. Not next week, because we have a bye. But the week after, we have definitely our toughest test of the season against Ohio State. It is second and ten for Illinois and about the 40. As Lunt fake hand off to Kendrick Foster. He's going to look deep for his tight end, Kelly. And it's intercepted again. This time by Davis. And Davis is going to get to the 40 after being tackled by Jamal Johnson, the second. It is first and 10 for Minnesota on about the 40. Is White's going to run it himself. Looks like he's back in the game. And he's going to be hit hard by Stephen Miller, the killer, on his first play back. Now it's second and 7 for Minnesota. And this is a drive where they definitely need points. They only have a field goal. And if they want to make this like game still happening, they're going to need some points. But this is definitely going to help. As there goes Brock Logan, gaining 27 to about the 27. It is third and one for the Golden Gophers. They are now in the red zone on about the 19 or 20 yard line. As on third and short, White will pass it. Under pressure, we'll find Burton. And Burton will get by Fountain, breaking a tackle. And Kevin Burton will get the score. And it's most likely a four point game. It is second and 11 for Illinois. Wes Lunt, the only one in the Illinois backfield. As Lunt, under a lot of pressure, but we'll find Jamal Johnson. And Jamal Johnson has been very quiet as of lately. Will gain 17. Risky pass from Lunt, but he was under a lot of pressure. Now it's first and 10 of the 37 for Illinois. As Lunt on first down. He's scrambling. He's going to be sacked on the play. Losing five. It was Caleb Burton. With the set. It is third and 15 for Illinois. They did just get a first down gain of like 20 something to Jamal Johnson, the second, but the play was overturned. Because now it's third and 15. Lunt will be sacked again, this time by Jeff McLeod. Minnesota's been running the ball this drive, and it's already gotten them to the 33 yard line. No super long plays, but slowly but surely is White. Is only going to gain two. That was Trey Watson, the sophomore, with the play. Big third and fourth for both sides, especially the Illinois defense and the Minnesota offense. As it's going to be a handoff to McClellan, but Julius Robinson will stop it with a loss of one, and it's fourth and five. And Minnesota probably doesn't know if they want to. They probably want to kick a field goal. 
if you think about it. As we start the fourth quarter, the field goal unit is not on the field. It's the Minnesota Golden Gophers offense. As White on fourth down is going to pass it. He's going to find Hall, who does not get the first down, gaining four. I thought he got it, but I'm not complaining. It is second and ten for Illinois. About six seconds left, or six seconds taken off the clock in the fourth quarter. As Lunt will hand it off to Kendrick Foster. Foster's holes. Foster's the first down. Foster's blocks. There goes Kendrick Foster. Foster, no. Foster past the 30 to about the 29. It is second and 10 with 29 for Illinois. As Lunt and um, Kendrick Foster are on the backfield. Lunt on second down. And he's going to get sacked after not even being touched by the Minnesota defense. Frank Perkins is going to be the one credited with the sack. It is second and seven for Minnesota on about the 24-yard line. As White is going to hand it off to Logan. Logan has a first down. Logan has room. And Brock Logan is going to gain 18. It is second and ten for Minnesota. Sorry about the phone ringing in the background. As on second and ten, White's going to pass it. He's going to be sacked by Trey Watson. And it's going to be third and 21. For the Golden Gophers, a huge play by Watson and the Illinois defense. Look who's in the game at quarterback for Illinois. It's Chase Crouch. As one who's been very good the past few games, has not been good today, and has been benched. We've seen that a lot from both Lunch, Lent, and Crouch this year. As Kendrick Foster of another nice run and a first down past the 35 to about the 36. This could be the game, pretty much, as it's third and four for Illinois. About 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. Minnesota already using their timeouts. As Crouch is going to pass it. He doesn't know where to. He's going to be sacked by the Minnesota defense. And it's 4th and 18. Minnesota's going to have about 2 minutes and 1 timeout to drive down the field. 2 minutes and 5 seconds left. Minnesota starting off with pretty good field position here. Pass for 40. As a field goal won't do it. White's going to hand it off to Brock Logan. Logan breaks Darshin's tackle, and he's going to get to about the 45. Minnesota's already at the 41-yard line, and if they can continue driving down the field, unless they don't, unless they turn it over, this game might be looking good as they run it with Logan, and Logan has a first down, gaining 13. Minnesota's already about the 25-yard line, as it's second and six. White's the only one in the backfield. Pierre White, under pressure, finds Hall. And Hall gets a first down and is now in the red zone with just under a minute left. Minnesota's now in the red zone with under a minute left. Tick, 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 tick. About a minute left is White. Under pressure, he's looking for the end zone. And it's intercepted by who else but Darshim. The dream. Bang, bang, Brooks. And Illinois will walk out of senior day with a win as Chase Crouch will kneel it. And Illinois has clinched a bowl game as they improve to 6-3. and three. Who else but Darshim the Dream, Bang Bang Brooks, to save the game? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah. Guys, look at the others receiving votes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Illinois is getting votes to be ranked. In the top 25. Also, uh, I don't actually don't want to show up top 25 because next episode is a bye week, which is going to be recruiting update and stuff. No one's actually like committed to us. Just like show you. Uh, but that's it for me. I'm out. Peace.